Yeah, 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 yeah. It's your boy, Regular Ja. We are back with another guest list. I got a special guest in the building. Man I've known since 2010, about around 2010. Went on, went on the road with him a few times. We, had, we got some stories. <laughs> We're going to get into a couple things. Um, one of the dopest lyricists out there. I don't care who you are or how you feel. If you heard this man, you would agree. We got motherfucking classic in the motherfucking building. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. Classify Sick. Classify Sick. That's the whole name. Contracted down to classic. Yeah, yeah man. We Yeah, I think. Every word I spit, stay true to the name. That, oh, you still remember <laughs> that, huh? <laughs> Yeah, you still remember that? Huh? I might, I might throw a couple here and there yeah. <laughs> through the joint. Yeah. yeah, what's going on, brother? Ah, uh, not much, man. What's up? What's up with you? Living, man. Yeah, living life, living life. Right Can't on. complain. Yeah, yeah. We finally, we finally get to sit down and do this. It's, That's right. We've been talking about it for a little minute, but yeah. you know, we finally, uh, we finally here though. Yeah, I think I moved before you started, before yeah. you set up and and got this running. Been back a few times, but we just things didn't line up. Yeah, nah. I ain't gonna front though. That uh, the joint that we was playing in last year, I can say it now. The joint with me, you, and Concept, we yeah. the ten year, and that would that would have been crazy. Oh yeah, that would have been crazy. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, nah, cause um, nah, I started this. I definitely started the media stuff way after you left. Yeah. A couple years ago, but it's crazy how full circle it is. Cause remember, I used to run around with the little with the yeah. little <laughs> little Sony the, the cam Sony ham camcorder yeah. everywhere. <laughs> everywhere we went, I had that joint with me. Yeah. So you know. HD camera. Yeah, man. Yeah, I still got some footage up there too. <laughs> man, it, it's it really don't seem like it's been that long. It doesn't. It's been that long though. It's definitely it's, been that long. It's crazy. Like if you look back to how far back 2010 was, it's like right. none of us had kids yet. Like, yeah, <laughs> like man. yeah, man. Everybody was still just kind of, you know, figuring out their path in this music business. Yeah, just moving so. around, trying to make something happen. Yeah. You still moving though, <laughs> and, and and in the right direction though. I just got to start. I just started back moving. <laughs> you know, I was at a dead stop, man. Yeah. So what was your uh? So so what was that 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 made you decide like one day you just woke up like you know what I gotta, I got this itch I need to scratch. I got to get back to it. Man, this. I just uh, it's just something in you that makes you want to do yeah. it. Like you get the frustration comes externally. Mm-hmm. And then it makes you want to stop it. Or in my case, I stopped altogether. But then there's something inside. The same thing that made you start makes you keep going. Sure. You know, so it's just I moved from Virginia up to Iowa and um, took a while to get tapped in or find something that was on that. But then once I did find some people that's on some music trying to make some moves, things got to rolling. I uh, started feeling a little better about, you know, I was a little apprehensive thinking people didn't want to hear my style of music or mm-hmm. see an artist with my image or my age. But, you know, I still got to do it because it's in me to do it. Got to let it out. Yeah. So you said like, so your image. So I, I, I one thing I know about you, I know of you yeah. is big is a very uh big inspiration to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Ma- the truth. Mainly because of one specific line that yeah, he spit. One line, man. <laughs> Heartthrob, never black and ugly as ever. However, however, that however is is, is everything. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's that is why I rap. That line right there is why I rap. So, that's that's you know, but th- that's the thing though is like imagery is like because remember at one point in the industry they may you know they may artists feel like you got to look a certain way or you got to make a certain style of music or you got to do it this way you got to do it that way like right. you had to fit some kind of mold. But yeah. now it's like we have the you know the artistic freedom to just kind of do what we want to do, mm-hmm. how we want to do it, and fans gravitate to that more than you know chasing the sound that they say is supposed to be telling right. me. For you. That somebody says you you're supposed to like <laughs> this, you have to like this. Yeah. Now you you can find what you actually like and rock with it. Yeah. Cause I um cause I see you say a lot like you tried trap, it's not your. Nope. <laughs> Can't do it, man. <laughs> It's not your thing. Yeah, you know, I can I can rap on the beats, but definitely the uh the content that yeah. you know what they talking about in the music, I can't it's not my thing. 
Yeah. <laughs> and that's good though. I feel like more artists should do that. More people. Not yeah. even just artists. More people should just like what's you what's for you is for you. What's your lane is your lane. Like you should just right. follow that. Right. And people gravitate towards you more when they see that, you know, you genuinely walking in what you supposed to be. People are drawn to the real stuff, man. That's it. Not the not the cliche real. Uh authentic. People are drawn to authentic things. Yeah. So it's not that I don't talk about that stuff not because I'm not uh, familiar with it, you know. I yeah, I was born in that stuff. It's just I don't want to. I don't want to put that out. Yeah. Because you know when we make the music, man, like even you got people that lie and it's like, oh, it's just entertainment. But when you get other people involved in it who think it's real, yeah. the audience make it real. Yeah. Cause we see a lot of that from the youngins. You yeah. know, I'm not gonna get too deep into that because that's a whole different. Right you know, dynamic of conversation, but right. we see that a lot. Like the, uh, the kids live life out, is man. imitating art yeah, like man. crazy. Cause you know? it's, it's not just a, um, like, okay. So for someone like us, we might know it's entertainment. Yeah. But then for someone who has chosen to live that life, it's like for a dancer, when a yeah. dance song comes on, that those are instructions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For a dancer. So when this certain type of music for these people that live that life, it's not, this is instructions. That's it. <laughs> you know, this is a step by step. So, and and we seeing it too much, man. And uh, we just need a, we need some more uh, offerings to the game. Yeah. So is that what inspires you more to push your positive message? Um, nah, It's not even me being positive. It's just me being. The but it way- is positive though. I, I, wait, the way I've started to describe it is mm-hmm. non-destructive rap. Okay. So it's not conscious. It's not gospel. It's not inspiration. It's just I got me you. being who I am. I got you. You don't want to get put in that box of, yeah, yeah, I got right. you. No, nah, definitely, definitely. But but at the same time, in the hood, you got, so you got dope boys, street niggas, gangsters, and those it's some overlap, but those are different. Yeah. In the, and then you get, sure. you got your squares, and then you got your dude that just he not a square, but he's not them other dudes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the hood fuck with him, but they know that I right, this yeah. ain't he ain't yeah yeah he and minding his business. Let him do I'm his at. thing. Yeah, that's why I'm at. Yeah. I mean, that's a good place to be though. Right. It like is. for the most part, I feel like I'm there too. Yeah. Um, you know, I ain't really too rah rah. Yeah. You know, I. I don't think I'm a square. You know, I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's perception. So I can't really, right. <laughs> right. I can't really, uh, you know, take a give away that. But, um, yeah, for the most part, I feel like I'm there though. And I feel like, you know, that's a good lane to tap into. Cause it's like, it's certain people that like, yeah, they from the hood. They know all the hood stuff. They know what goes on, but they, they not a trapper. They ain't right. never killed nobody. They never wanted to kill nobody. Right. It's just, they just living their life, but they just happen to be living their life in yeah, the same man. Cause you know it's hard. Atmosphere. It's hard out here, man. People, <laughs> it's almost like being a just being a, a decent, a good black man ain't enough. Yeah, nah, for sure. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> hey, Lynn, you we like what they say. We got to go twice as hard to get half as much. Yeah, man. And that's on a good day. Yeah, man. So you know, um, so I definitely see um, you into like you know motivational speaking and yeah. public speaking and all that. Like, yeah. how's yo what? How? Like, what made you just do that? Because I don't know if it's my nerves or whatever, but I don't even like talking in front of, like, crowds of, like, family. Like, oh, really? it's cra- I well, know, I, I, crazy I, I for a rapper, understand. right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then performed in front of hundreds of people, but right. it just it's just something about just speaking and talking. Like, yeah. this I can do all day. Even yeah. the cameras, I can do all this all day long. But if, if it would have been, like, 50 people in here. Yeah. I mean... I can I well as long as I'm talking to you I'm good but if I yeah. got to like address the crowd and we speaking mm-hmm. I ain't got it. <laughs> well it it comes with practice and then yeah. you just you definitely have to be comfortable because the the stuff has to flow. Yeah. So uh my public speaking got into uh just from my background coming up, you know, I'm originally from East Cleveland, Ohio, East Cleveland/Cleveland. Slash Cleveland. Um and the way I grew up, man, it was uh rough. You know, <laughs> the best way I could put it, you know, for a, a series of years, I lived pretty much in, in crack houses. We call them crack houses. You yeah. might call them trap houses now. Um, you know, I had to, my whole life, you know, I had to figure things out. I was just in situations that, uh, you know, it, it seemed normal because it was all I knew, yeah. but I was in some rough situations. And, uh, you know, I lived in 
four locations coming up. Uh, three of them are torn down. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the houses that was around us are still there, but where I lived is grass. It's, yeah. You know, so, you know, and we were, from what I remember, we were the last family to live in there. So how, you know, everywhere we live gets on the fucking condemned list, you know. <laughs> yeah, and um, so that's what just because I've been looking for answers my whole life and I just, you know, it takes time to find them. So I want to be a person that helps other people who looks for similar answers or the same answers I was looking for, yeah. help them out a little bit faster than, than I got it. Nah, that's good though. I mean, cause you know, some people don't know what their place is. Yeah. Shit. I still don't know. <laughs> it sometimes, <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like mine changes every day. Yeah. Like, you know, one day I, I feel like I'm in this place. One day I, I wake up the next day and it's like, damn, I, I think this is more me. Yeah. So, but that's human. You know, us as humans, we ever evolving. Like, right. Some people don't, but you know, for for those who who know, know. You know, what I'm saying, like you, yeah, man. That's that's all part of life, man. Yeah. Evolution, like it, it, it comes with it. Yep. Like you know, if if you the same that you today that you are when you was t- ten years ago, I'm messing my sentence up. If you if you are the same <laughs> today what you was ten years ago, then something's not right. Right. You like the only way for that no to happen is you you died <laughs> like you know what i'm saying yeah if you alive like it's got to be some change it That's, has to be so yeah. nah man um so your origins like so in virginia because mm-hmm. virginia played a big part in you know definitely your your life your artistry and everything so yeah when you came here so you came here via military yep okay so how did you get tapped into you know the people that you started connecting with when you first got here? It wasn't when I first got here. I, I got to the area in December of 03. Okay. And then uh, at that point, just life, I wasn't really tapping into the music. I was, uh, you know, had different responsibilities. Yeah, just living, yeah. Yeah, and um, I didn't start getting back active rapping until about 07, 08. And then... um. I went out. I just went out and started trying to find things. I remember the first open mic I went to, it was out at, I think it was Blakely's. Oh, man, shout out to Blakely's. <laughs> and uh, it was Double XL, um, um, Miss Blends. Man, you throwing some names. Uh, and Lou Justice was the judge. Mm-hmm. And I went out there. I, I just went out there and did an acapella. And it's funny. I still throw acapellas in my set to this day. I didn't. I just went yeah. out there and rap, man. And you know, um, you know, I didn't win nothing, but that was that was the start of things. Yeah. And I started finding studios. You know, it took some time, but now it's full steam now. Yeah. Yeah. So then, uh, along the way, you connected with Archer, which is how uh-huh. I met you. That's right. Uh, That's me, right. you, concept, felonious monk. Yeah, monk. You, you know. Yeah. Um, the, the originals. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We kind of, we wasn't a group, but we kind of was a, like, it's, it, it was a, it's like, like Wu Tang. Yeah. We like wrote. everybody was their own entity, but we, right. you know, we definitely was, you know, a group, but not right. a group, but a group, but not a group. <laughs> <laughs> we formed something and we rolled pretty, it's like we rolled pretty tight for a little bit. Yeah, yeah man. Because, I mean, y'all definitely, you know, forced me to step up what yeah. I had going on. Yeah. Because I couldn't just, because I, I remember times in the studio when I'm like, all right, this nigga, man, you rapping. <laughs> and then Concept go in there, I'm like, oh, these niggas. These yeah. niggas, these niggas is really, concept do they know that we, fr- they know we friends? <laughs> like, they know we, <laughs> I right. It was really like, it was really like competition, but not, you know, but as I look back in it, in retrospect, it was more like, competition with each one of ourselves. Right. Like, yeah, I want sure. my, my next verse to be better than this last one. Yeah. So. And it's not competing. And then even now, when I was a little bit younger and earlier in my in my rapping, you know, the objective would be that if I get a get called for a feature, is yeah. to is to kill the person only is to out rap it. You know, I don't even yeah. do that no more. It's just you know whatever is gonna make the best song. Yeah. And uh, I just want to make solid music that doesn't expire. And even now, uh, people compliment me on my skill, and I appreciate it. I put a lot of time into it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, which is crazy because like 
you so laid back. Mm. Like even the music is it, you vibe to it, that shit yeah. laid back. But when you get on that stage, <laughs> it's like it's it's different. Yeah. It's like you taking off that blazer, you know what I mean, the cape coming out, like you, yeah. you definitely go from clock can't like you ain't the late, same laid back. So like where does that right. energy come from? Is that energy know. that you harbor and you just I don't know, man. I just just what it has to be on that stage to make that impact. It, you know, it's been times when I um I went out there and and I was a little closer to my natural uh demeanor and it just doesn't work. Yeah. You know. Just like um I don't record the same way I used to. Mm-hmm. Like I you know, I project a little more of my voice because, you know, one of my well, my personal favorite rapper is Fab. Mm-hmm. Fabulous. And uh, I tried to rap like that because since it worked for him, I thought I could make it work for me. Yeah. But I couldn't make it work for Especially me. Especially because you had the laid back demeanor. And <laughs> yeah. His natural is the laid yeah. back demeanor. I got you. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's, I can do it like Fab. And uh, couldn't do it like Fab. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, but when you get in there though, like, so that, that recording process, like, do you, do you rewrite? Do you like once it's set? Is it set? Like how do you? Well, well, it's still. I don't. I don't write my verses down to create them. Mm-hmm. So I piece it together in my head. I use a. I've been using voice recorders before smartphones to create my verses. I so, do remember. And um, so sometimes I'll need to hear it, and then if I'm unsure about a line. I have to lay it down so I, I'm not processing the creative. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm not spinning my wheels in that way. Then I can listen with a little more processing power. And if I need to change something, some ideas can come. Because, you know, uh, it's just your brain has to be free to think. For sure. You know, and, it, and it, it'll just come to you. So, yeah, I mean, creativity. So how, how big is creativity to you? Like originality and... Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's important, man. But again, that creativity has to be rooted in who you, in your true identity. Yeah. So it's not hard to be creative when you're expressing yourself. You know, it's just having the, the vocabulary to say this stuff, having the tools to say what you're thinking mm-hmm. and not make something repetitive. For sure. You know? Yeah. So, um, you're, um... One in, one of your biggest chips that I used to see was mm. knowing that how nice you was, but not getting I wouldn't <laughs> say the recognition, but not getting the recognition. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty what... much getting slept on, <laughs> yeah. like like everybody telling me I'm nice, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's frustrating, man. <laughs> yeah, that's it. you that kinda um kinda fuck with my head a little bit. Like and I say it in the uh in my song meant for me. I was like, either mm-hmm. I'm wrong about my gift or it's not meant for me. Like either yeah. I'm not as good as I think I am or I'm good and I'm just not supposed to be successful. Yeah. Uh you know, but ever since I made that song and that last line I said, in case God needs a reminder, I want everything. That I want everything that's meant, meant for, for me. me. And I think that I think that song I think that song is just it just puts that energy out. It's like a beacon. So I said it once there, and but it it exists forever. And that intention, it, it means something. I think it's I think it's really helping me out. <laughs> you know, it's like on some time travel shit. I did something sure. that's helping me out. You know, I, my future self, my past self sent the <laughs> message, and then I, man, it's it, you know, ever since I recorded that record and put it out, man, that's when things really started picking up steam. Yeah, honestly. So, um, speaking of meant for me, yeah, what's meant for you is meant for you, right? So you took some time off. Uh-huh. I do remember COVID. You used to drop the little care packages for us, <laughs> er, er, so often we'd get a freestyle. You know yeah. what I'm saying just to just to keep motherfuckers reminded yeah. of who you are, right? But um, amongst those freestyles became some challenges, right? Um. That you thought it was just freestyles, but somehow those challenges became more than freestyles because they started having things go in motion for you. Right. Yeah. Like changing, elevating, you know, to the point where you're trying to get to. Right. Um, one being gifted hands, why not start? Right. And then, you know, y'all connected. And of course, you know, the video came and, you know, it was just, it was just a big thing. And then the song went crazy, like, right. you know. He posted you after the song went crazy. Like you won the challenge. Like it was, 
I remember it was pandemonium. Like, <laughs> I was going around like, yeah, I know him. <laughs> yeah, I know you. That's my dog. I know him. Yeah. That's my dog right there. But yeah, so how did, like, so so once that connect, like, how did that connection start? Well, you know, I follow him. And um, from, he records with T. Mm -hmm. And I remember years back, T was telling me about, he said, yeah, this is dude, he ain't got no hands. He he nice. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Like, I'm thinking, like, <laughs> They, they just sound so outlandish. Yeah, just thinking maybe it's like a gimmick or just right. something crazy. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. But then a few years go by, and he hit the scene in like 2017. Mm -hmm. um, I know he had, I talked to him a couple times in the past because when I would come back after I moved, it would be like T's birthday party. He, he'd have me hit the stage, and, you know, I'd do my thing. And um, when he did the Why Not Start Challenge, I really liked my verse. And I was looking at it like, man, I think I got the best verse. But I didn't win. I didn't win that one. Okay, I thought you won because you got posted. Yeah, he so posted me, me and uh, I think. Let me retract my my. <laughs> I had one of the best verses. Yeah, but uh, I think the issue was the audio quality. Okay. So with that, my all my challenges that I do going forward, I ripped the beat and I studio recorded. Okay. So, and um, he did. He just released a song uh, this year. Well, he put another challenge up for a new song mm -hmm. called How You Make It, and he did another challenge. And uh, I did that one, and I won that one. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I'm in town now, because uh, we're going to shoot the video Saturday at, in the park in Virginia Beach. And, um, yeah, man, it's, it's been great. Yeah, I'll be out there. And, I, you know, I don't really pop out the house much, but, yeah. you know. And uh, shout out to Capri. Shout out to Capri, man. We supposed to, I supposed to get her up here. We we, we gonna make it happen. Yeah, it's man. Just, she's so busy, man. So it's yeah, just she got getting it. that getting that scheduling right. She so, got all kind of stuff going on, man. So yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna definitely get her up here soon. Um, so yeah, um, how you make it? Yeah, I I actually you know I I, I actually listened to the song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I listened to it earlier, just kind of you know just to just to remind myself of you know what I'm saying and. Yeah. Y'all boys blacked out on that joint, man. <laughs> you know, I almost didn't do the challenge, man. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I almost didn't do it. Why not? Because of my past history with challenges. So it would be like, up, up until this one, Everybody I would feel like. Everybody telling you you the nicest nigga up yeah, there, but you I, just then, don't win it. Then I feel like Go I had the best the... verse, and then but I didn't win. Yeah. I feel like I, I don't feel like I lost, but I never won them. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> And then uh, a couple people was like, man, do the challenge. Like, yeah. And then I did it, and it turned out well for me, man. And, um, you know, the something that these challenges have taught me, because w the way I do it when my with my personal music, I just get a beat I like, and I let it do whatever it does in my head. But... You know, from uh, Sensei putting on rap tag challenges where you have to rap for on on a topic, you got 24 hours to write on a, a random topic and post it, and doing the Why Not Start challenges uh, challenge. I've learned that I'm really good at staying on topic. Yeah. So, um, you know, but I'm glad that the opportunity came the way it did. Very thankful to uh, Gifted Hands and this whole team, uh, Live Wire Consulting, uh, Amelia ENT, um, you know, Gifted Hands, of course. I'm just really grateful for them uh, picking me and giving me this opportunity. Yeah, for sure. Nah, that's dope, man. And I, I like I like what they doing. Yeah. It's yeah. like they, they, they moving the right way. Right. And, you know, often you don't see people capitalize the right way off of such a strong buzz but like he's really keeping himself out there right. you keeping yourself out there and he, he's really who you think he is yeah like he's really he's really that guy you know his personality you, you know you won't be disappointed when you meet him yeah if you meet him yeah you know so nah he, he definitely a cool dude yeah. i need that i need that friend request accepted though <laughs> that joint been pending that joint been pending for like <laughs> for like a year but you know we gonna <laughs> Hey, do it. Get him for an interview, man. Yeah, yeah I definitely want. I definitely want to get him. I, yeah, man. The crazy thing is, that's when I, I sent the friend requested for that to reason, DM. you know. But yeah. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna pander, right? Because it's gonna sound like pandering right. at this point. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But I'm gonna definitely. Uh, we gonna definitely get that emotion though. Yeah. So, um, what do these words mean to you? I don't smoke. Never have. I don't drink. Never have. 
Never sold crack rock on a record. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, man. Um, that's just part of my part of my story, man. Just part of my story. Like I said, I lived in, in crack houses growing up. Mm-hmm. That's because my whole family was on crack. Yeah. You know, my that's not an exaggeration. My entire immediate family was on crack yeah. at one point, you know. So uh those things triggered me to, you know, I've never been high. I've never smoked anything. And I can count on one hand the number of drinks I've taken. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And there's nothing wrong with that, though. Nah, it's and not. And that's the crazy thing. Like, I seen this old interview. I forgot who it was. Uh, it was old, old. And because um, as you seen, I watch a lot of old yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> vintage interviews. But nah, that, so um, he was saying how, like, you know, if you tell people you don't drink water, they like, ah. Oh, know, that's Tony know. Baker. Tony Baker. That's yeah. who it was. Like, if you don't drink water, it's ah. But, yeah. it, you know, if I drink a hundred fucking liters of alcohol, everybody like, yo, that's what's up. That's yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. But if you say you don't drink. People look at you like you crate, like right, because that that's something that I had to learn too, man. When you're the only person not doing something in yeah. the, in the room full of people that's doing the same thing, you're the weirdo. Yeah. No matter what your reasons are, so you just gotta, as they say, read the room. Yeah. <laughs> and know when to remove yourself. Yeah, I mean, but also when you secure in who you are as a person and as a man, like yeah. peer pressure don't exist. That's right. Because if I don't, if you don't want to do something, you right. you're not gonna do it. You it ain't making just, me do nothing, yeah. man. <laughs> like, I'm a grown man, like so. At this point, yeah. any choices that I make or anything that I do is strictly because that's what I chose to do. That's right. And that's how I got the the few drinks I've taken. It's all on some celebratory. Man, I know you don't drink, but come on, man, please. You, you yeah. Know, you know. And it's like, I right, just do this All one. Right, and it ain't yeah. like I'm getting drunk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then they leave you alone. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you actually throwing back or you hit them with the movie joint? The... <laughs> yeah, I do it. I do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Don't ask me no more. Just, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you it. get one. You got the one. <laughs> <laughs> See you in five years. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Um, so you, you had posted a post. Uh-huh. Um, I just kind of wanted you to elaborate on just a little bit. Right on. Um, you had said that we need to establish a healthy rites of passage in our culture. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, man. Because you know these the cultures that have rites of passage that go from your childhood to adulthood. Mm-hmm. You know, it gives the kids something to aspire for. You know, um, all we have in our community is. A destructive rite of passage: have sex, commit a crime, catch a body, sell some drugs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Join a gang, or you know what I'm saying? Go to jail. Oh, yeah, I'm a man now. I went to jail. I'm a man. I got my first piece of pussy. Like yeah. we need something that, all right, with a structure. Yeah. And then when we complete that, you know, we get welcomed in to a community of manhood that that can, well, I, I got to speak from a male's perspective. For sure. You know, that give you, because people don't know how to be men. Yeah. It's a lot of suckers. It's a lot of, yeah. you know, bitch-ass niggas. It's a, you know, it's because some, with, a, with some of us, it's in us. Yeah. But still, we still, even the ones that have it naturally, they still fuck up. They still need some guidance. For sure. You, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's perfect. Right. Right. So, yeah, what you think about that? No, nah, I mean, the crazy thing is, so, you know, on the podcast, I preach that shit a lot, you yeah. know. And, of course, in the midst of everybody joking, joking, they don't nobody want to hear that shit, right? You know. But that's the thing, though. Even to the point where it's like they try to, you know, just to piggyback off of that and align with it is like they act like it's only one way to be black. Exactly. So even when I see like people say like you know this white person is acting black, yeah, like no, nah, they acting ratchet. They not acting black, right? Right. Because it's it's right. black Harvard students, it's, it's yeah. black lawyers, it's black judges, it's black doctors. But too many of us it's believe it's niggas in the hood that that never bust a gun. It's right. niggas in the hood that, ne- right? You know what I'm saying that never sold. You know what I'm saying that never. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like it's I feel like we should be able to celebrate you know blackness in every aspect of blackness, right? Every shade, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because I ain't mixed. I'm I'm fully black. I, I don't look <laughs> yeah. it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know I, I know I don't look it and shit, but, yeah. you know. Um, but that's the thing. But though, but they act like if you're not on, you know, street culture, then you're not. Then you're not, then you're black. not black. It's right. kind of like that episode of, 
uh, Fresh Prince when Carlton checked the fraternity nigga. Like, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. I'm walking. I'm running the same hurdles you running. When so he, why when you check Bobby Johnson? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Like it, it it's it's I I align with that. Right. Yeah. Because it's like you know if you black and like anime, you a blurt. Be a blurt. That's cool. Yeah, that's like, cool, man. Be if, if be you true a, to you. Yeah. If you a video game nerd, do that. You know how much money they make. Yeah. Like niggas is like people people will really shame you for what you naturally are into because right. they don't accept it as black because of the the mode that's been set and but how why do another part that's wicked is we're deriving our identity from things that we didn't create. We didn't for create sure. the streets, we didn't create the hood, sure. we didn't create crack, we didn't create our struggle. Yeah, I but don't now we've come to identify if you ain't struggled, you ain't black. If you ain't done man, yeah. You know, when it when it should be the opposite, like yo, right. if if you if you can get your kids out of that situation and they grow up, like that should be a, a a aspect of blackness that should get celebrated, right? You know, but it's like like you said, unless you come from the mud, you gotta come from the mud. If you don't, then you don't know. I know people who been through some shit that never lived in the hood, right? Been through some wild shit, yeah. And I know people who lived in the hood that never been through shit, right? So yeah, <laughs> outside of that that poverty struggle but outside yeah. of that they never been through nothing so i mean it's you know i don't know how it's gonna change but maybe maybe i gotta put something in play yeah you might be the man <laughs> to do it yeah i'm 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 here to help yeah for sure you know what i'm saying i'm a vessel yeah. i'm a vessel too man so I'm, I'm here to help i'm here to i'm here to align with the right people and and put the right things in motion yeah so for sure i think it might be time yeah Make it happen. That's it. And um, so as far as, so let's get back to the music. So um, uh-huh. you got anything new coming? Any any solo projects? Any joint yeah. projects? Any? Uh, actually, man, uh, I really think I'm recording some of the best music I've ever made. Okay. And um, I'm getting in. I'm getting into wanting to play. I can't call it singing because I can't really. I don't really have a singing <laughs> voice. But I'm getting into that and playing around with that. Yeah. That's who winning right now, though. The, yeah. the, 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 the niggas who can't sing that sing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's who winning right now. Like, yeah. that shit is working. Yeah, I got, I got some dope songs loaded up. I just want to make sure I uh, present it as the best way possible because I don't know how many shots I got after this. Yeah, for sure. You know? <laughs> I mean, we're in a different culture, though. So now that age restriction is kind of being lifted. Yeah. It ain't what it now. was cuz yeah, it is now. now. It is, yeah. Cuz you know back when, you know, we was on that grind together and taking those road trips and stuff like that to do shows. Yeah. Like it was once you hit like 30, 35, if you want Jay-Z, it was like, yeah, yo, what do you go sit down. Yeah. yeah. Like Jay-Z and Nas was like the only two Yeah. I'm not calling them old, but at that time like niggas Older. considered niggas considered the old rappers that was still like Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe ghosts, but you know, but they, you already had to be established. If and they, you wasn't they already, started to change. Yeah, you know, because that's what started to open up this new market. Because those those stars from the '90s, time progressed and they got older, you, they, and they didn't get phased out like the '80s. Like they yeah. gangster rap knocked all the '80s shit. Yeah, you know, and just shut that down. So you know, from Wu Tang, Jay Z, Nas, all that, all that class. They they grew up in the culture and now, you know, we have to open up a a, a new audience of people that don't want to be in that the the younger crowd don't want to act like they're seventeen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, and then now we have more rappers hitting their forties. You know, like like Jim Jones and yeah. you know Fab and all them. They and they're like, man. It's it's too much. It's it's a I call it a secondary market open up. You know the industry yeah. is going to have the mainstream eighteen to thirty four primary market, but then there's a secondary market opening up because people are just getting older. Definitely, and I know that the market is 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 there because when those shows come, yeah, they sold out. Yeah, them tickets move, man. Yeah, like uh, some in the water just was just here, uh-huh. and like when I seen Buster hit the stage, I seen that crowd like right. And it wasn't like no added noise effects. Like they pen yeah. the camera to the crowd, and it yeah. was like young kids, teenagers. It's like oh, rapping airline. Yeah, you know and, what I'm saying, and that's and, part of what we got to do too, man. We gotta, 
we got to bring people, we got to bring the young people on and expose them to the music that yeah. that we love and then we have to respect the music that they love. That's it. Cuz it's a cycle. Saying? Yeah. Cuz our parents hated the shit that we grew up listening to. Yeah. So like you know, I <laughs> I remember the first time my grandma heard me listening to the Dayton family or listening to Onyx or listening yeah. to like, yeah, like they, they used to try to take my tapes and shit. Yeah, what oh, the, what is that? You don't need to be listening. You don't right. know what I need to listen to. Right. Man. This ain't, but you know, it's it's kind of the same. And now like we becoming that. Well, not us, not we, but yeah, but a lot of people in our age bracket is becoming that. Like yeah. these little youngest motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, but right now this drill shit is the equivalent to them what like, NWA and right. DMX and all of that was to us as right. a kid growing up. So, but it's it's to the worst extreme because since since the previous people didn't accept it, the music yeah. at that time, so they couldn't guide them and be like you know and mold them because yeah. they they shut themselves off from it. So now the drill is like kind of the unchecked. Yeah, you know, it's hard to check these youngers though. Yeah, they- <laughs> yeah. These youngers is like, yeah. They got access to guns that we didn't have growing up. Yeah, the military don't got access to some yeah. of the shit that, that <laughs> yeah. I see on with them. Like, yeah. and I'm not glorifying that. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's, you know, and then these youngers, they getting money at a crazy rate. So they right. have this mentality that, like, I got more money than you. Right. My gun bigger than yours. What can you tell me? But no it's emotional like, intelligence. So everything none. is disrespect. None. Everything, everything is, is disrespect. Everything is worthy of death. And you can be looking out for them, but if if they perceive it wrong, which yeah. most of the time they is, because your brain don't stop developing into a certain age anyway. Right. So they still young, young in the yeah. man's body. So they brain ain't you know fully there to grasp the shit that you telling them is constructive. Right. So they looking at you like, man, fuck you talking about who you who you talking to. Yep. Then next thing you know. Some That's with a hundred bullets in it. Yeah. <laughs> They're not gonna fight you, right? Nah. But then you know they get locked up, they go to jail, and then they realize, damn, this this really wasn't me. Like they've right. been saying, but now I got this this hundred years to think about. I'm gonna die in here, right? So you know that's the the fucked up thing, and that's what I feel like we need to try to somehow. I know it, it, it's not a walk in the park. It's not gonna be easy, but we nah. got to figure out how to get to these youngins and man, really. <laughs> It's gonna sound messed up, but the art modern modern black culture is a burning house. Yeah, you know, with a lot of factors that contribute to the fire. Mm-hmm. And if if you got somebody that wants to live, and you got things contributing to the fire, then you have people that advertise the fire, and make it attractive, like the rappers, yeah. and you know the people that glorify it. So if you got somebody want to live in that house. You just gotta let them go, yeah. Because they'll burn your shit, your shit on fire for trying yeah, to save trying them. Trying to save them, yeah. You know, so the the only alter we need to build an alternative. You know, we can't preach to them, we can't force them. We have to build something that is legitimate, a legitimate alternative. Yeah. That for them to choose, because that's the only they gotta say it themselves. We gotta help them say it themselves. Right now, they want to. They want to die and kill. Yeah, because they don't know. They don't value life. Right. They don't. They they think that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. And uh, the ones that are lucky enough to make it out of that, you know, then they hopefully they see it. Yeah. You know. But I I think like a lot of the um, a lot of these youngins, idols because they idolize these young boys. Yeah. Uh, no pun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like young boy, dirt like. But what I'm starting to see even with like young boy like. He's remorseful. He's saying he don't want he ain't woo, yeah. woo. so yeah. you know that might be the change too. Like some of these young kids might hear, oh damn, young boy don't want to do that no more. Like, yeah. Well, maybe that shit ain't right. Maybe right. my pops was right because you know I, I see a lot of the times that it's blamed on whoever in the family or whatever. But right. sometimes you're gonna be who you're gonna be because I know niggas who came from good homes that's doing sixty years right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I know people from the hood that never been to jail. So like it's you know I, I feel like. Those people that they idolize is starting to like transition and yeah. kind of push a different message. I think that might help be the change too. Right. So like I seen um Meek, um, some young kids was rapping to him. I seen the video like probably 
two, three days ago or something. Right. Some young kids was rapping to him and, you know, they cussing and all that. They mm-hmm. young kids, probably like 10, 11. Yeah. And he was like, yo, you should probably try to do that without the cuss words or don't talk about killing and trapping like. Yeah. Like he checked them on camera like, yo, you, you should probably not like rap about something, something better than that. So rap yeah. about something different. Yeah. So them hearing that from him and because they probably look up like, oh, shit, that's me. You know what I'm saying? He the hardest street nigga in the world to, you know, somebody. Yeah. So they probably see that and like, yo, okay, maybe I should try to do something different. If Meek say that, then let me do that. Yeah, man, so. but people, they would think oh, that's another thing. We got to take our culture back. Yeah. You know, because we're the fuel for hip hop, but we don't own hip hop. We don't direct hip hop. Nah. You know, we're just the fuel. We just keep it running. We 1% of the 1%. Yeah. So, so. it's... We, I mean, we know who owns the industry. Right. I'm not. They ain't gonna Kanye me. So I'm yeah. <laughs> but we know who the who the people on top are, and we know the people who's making the most money off of this. Right. And, um, but no, I definitely, we definitely need to find a way to take it back because right. we are the culture. Right. And people who are not of our culture, who don't represent us, are telling us what black people or what's believable yeah. from black people, like. Anything I do is believable if yeah. it's really who I am. Yeah. But you got people who won't finance certain things, and you know they had you have to do what they say because they gave you some money. You took the money. Yeah, you know. So so they finance and destruction. Right, and that's For it. Sure. Like if, if if you ain't out here because they feel like destruction sells. Yeah, sex sells. This sells. That sells. That's why every uh, woman rapper. Is, is is my pussy, my pussy, I do, I die. But everybody but Rhapsody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's definitely a few. Rhapsody it's, is, I, man. Well, at a certain yeah, yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rhapsody, know. definitely. Um, Snow the Product. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, it's a few. Tierra Whack getting in. Yeah, she's new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She came Jay along. Josephine get it in. Okay. Um, it's definitely, you know, it's. Jay's, I'm, every time I mention female, I'm, 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 I'm always going to throw <laughs> you her go, in there. You go throw her I don't in care there. if I'm talking about it. I don't, it don't matter. <laughs> her name is getting thrown in there. Yeah. But, yeah, so, I mean, I feel like the culture is shifting, though, because we are starting to get more artists who are getting more globally accepted that's not on those bullshit agendas. Right. And they can be more creative with their art and yeah. not just stick in the, the, the mold basis of sex, money, murder, drugs. So, yeah, man. Yeah, some it's some dope stuff out there. It's coming up, and then because either you're on that or you gospel rap, yeah. And, and you know, I don't really. That's I, <laughs> I don't want to get you in trouble by saying what I think of gospel hey, bro, rap. BYOB, bring yeah. your own bias. You <laughs> yeah. say what you want to say. Yeah, I mean, gospel rap is corny. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you know, a lot of it don't have its own sauce. Yeah. So it's like, on the flip side. Some of the greatest soul and R and B singers came out of the church. For you sure, can't say the same thing about the gospel rappers. They do, they emulate the rappers at a lesser quality with worse mixes and beats. Yeah. but I'm better because I'm doing it for the Lord. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like bro, you gotta step that shit up. Yeah, <laughs> like, like you still gotta, you still gotta have a, a certain amount of skill if you can right. call yourself an MC. I don't care what your genre is. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and you know when I was um before I joined the Navy because part of my story also you know what a common story in these uh, in our community when people they get off crack and they start going to church. Yeah. So that's what happened. With it's like all that shit stopped and my family started going to church. So then I started going to church because this is what stopped the craziness. So you know I thought the only way I could rap was to do gospel. I ain't like it when I did it. <laughs> I got some songs uh. You know, and um, the dude I used to rap with, we still in contact, and he still got that old stuff. When I was like <laughs> nineteen, yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. If he sent it to me, I might share it, man, because that's part of the journey. Definitely, that's why you ain't wanted to get in that positive rap box early. He's like, don't put me in that shit. Don't <laughs> <I> <laughs> just don't put me in that shit. It ain't all positive. Yeah, it's positive, man. but it ain't positive. Yeah, I got right. you. It's yeah. not, you know, it's not preachy. It's not, you know, all those elements are in my music. Mm-hmm. But, you know, sometimes I want to cuss. Sometimes I'm yeah. trying to get some pussy. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. So, like, sometimes I'm I'm balling out. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling good. You, it's, yeah. You know, it's, it's certain words. You, some, you got to... You can only describe it one way, and sometimes you need sometimes, those cuss words. Sometimes to... fuck is the only word that applies. Sometimes you got to say it. 
That's it. Sometimes, nigga, you can't avoid it. <laughs> yeah. God wouldn't have gave me this thought if he if it wasn't meant for me to say. Yeah, man. That's how I feel. Yeah. But yeah, man. So that's dope. I'm I'm definitely looking forward to the new music, man. Like, right well, you on. know, I always like I'm I'm one of the like I, I really you know what I'm saying I don't want I I share shit just to share shit. Like I yeah. don't. Yeah. Say, hey, look, hey, I'm sharing it. Like, yeah, you know, I yeah. actually support people that I fuck with and I think that is dope. You know what I'm saying? And I, right. I actually fuck with their music. So Yeah, I'm gonna I'm play something for you when the when the record button gets uh, uh Lord, turned off. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, look, man. I got before we get out of here, man, because I know you want you know, you're on the time schedule and everything. I just wanna man. know. So if I if I happen to just come out of retirement, is is there space is there space for a feature? On, uh, on, on, you on, you on, got on you you got something planned? I mean, you know, maybe I, I, I got. I'm working on something, a little EP with uh with Smiles. Shout out Man. to Smiles. And Smiles, that's that's somebody that kept me in the game. Yeah. When I when you know when I was really cold and not putting stuff out, he would hit me up like, "Hey, let's do something." I got two EPs out that that wouldn't exist if he didn't contact me and send me some beats. Yeah. Yeah, Smiles have definitely cussed me out without using cuss words before. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. He got a way of talking to you to convince you to do some shit. Yeah. Like, Smiles, I don't do that shit no more. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Maybe I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, man. So, you know, it's coming. Yeah, you know, but all you gotta circle. do is hit me. All you gotta do is hit me for the verse. That's it. I might, That's you know, it, man. I, I might even I might even pull some sauce. I might put a posse cut together with certain choice names. You hey, know what man. I'm saying? Let's know. get it. That's how we started, so let's go full circle with it. Yeah. So concept. <laughs> Get put monk on there too, man. Put yeah, monk put, on that thing too. Yeah, we have monk on the intro. <laughs> we have monk on the intro. Monk might fuck around and rap. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? So, but yeah, man. So let everybody know where they can find you. Um, classified. K L A Z I F I E D. That's on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I think Snapchat. Yeah, man. I'm most active on Instagram right now. I might start fucking with TikTok. Yeah. Because that's the, that's the wave. Like, so yeah. You going to be doing the dance that. challenges? Nah, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. You Not hear? me. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do because I'm not doing it. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not shaking my hips. I'm not doing that little Uzi dance. Them niggas be <laughs> niggas. Yeah, Them niggas be <laughs> they be beating women they own ass. Hey, look, one thing about it, I definitely can't. I'm already light skinned. Yeah. I, I do TikTok. I'm out of here. They can't. I'm, I'm I'm done. They canceling me. Yeah. I don't care how good I do that shit though. But nah, man. So um, nah, definitely. We look forward to everything you coming. You got coming, and um, the video will be dropping soon. Yeah, yeah, we uh shoot it Saturday. Uh, you know, whatever time it takes to edit, I think it's gonna come together uh perfectly, man. I'm li- really looking forward to it. Yeah. And stay tuned for the album, for the EP, for everything, for the for the regular job. Yeah. For classic for the feature collaboration. On, on, feature on your new stuff. We got some shit coming. Yeah, for so, sure. Till next time, regular jobs guest list, we out. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks for being here. Yeah.